And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Sturgeon! The card game of frenzied, fish-feeding fun. Say that five times fast. Well, I'm a big fan of fish games. I think I just designed one, so the, uh, the idea of a fish game is really interesting. Uh, a card game. So I open a box, I look at these, and the first thing I notice as I open is that the cards are not all the same size exactly. It's not a game breaker, but nah. Not to mention the cards kind of look dull. These are freshwater fish, which I can understand the allure of fishing as much as the next person, but the artwork is fine on these cards, but nah. Uh, seems a little dull. But hey, this could be the greatest card game ever played. Let's look and see. There's a flow card that goes in the middle of the table and it shows which direction gameplay is in. Here it's counterclockwise. It can be changed during the course of the game with a card to go clockwise. Now, on your turn, you can play as many cards from your hand as you want, but you may only play one fish card. So you put a fish card in front of you, which has to be a minnow. So you put a minnow in front of you, you wait to get a minnow, because that's the only fish you can put in front of you. Now eventually, as time goes by, you'll put another minnow in front of you. Hooray! And as time goes by, later on, you can play a bass card that eats both those minnows. And as time goes by some more, you can play a bass card, another bass card that eats other minnows, and then eventually, here comes the sturgeon card, which eats both those bass. You get two sturgeon cards in front of you, you win the game. Now, there's a couple other cards you can play. For example, uh, the biggest one here is the swim card. When you are eating fish, you can play a swim card, and that lets you eat the fish of the person next to you in order of the flow. You want to eat the one that the fish of a player that's two away from you, you play two swim cards, etc., etc. If a fish has weeds on it, ooh, hiding in the weeds, you have to play an extra swim card to take care of it. If there is a school card connecting two fish, then you must eat both fish or none of them. They're working together. So, you get a sturgeon, you think you're safe. Well, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Instead of being safe, someone else can play a fisherman card. And the fisherman card comes, they're going to take your sturgeon away, unless you can play a swim card. And that will go all the way around the table, until someone doesn't have a swim card to play. And so, eventually someone will get a sturgeon on the table, and then eventually someone will play a fisherman, who will take that sturgeon away. And the game continues and continues and continues until all the players drop dead of boredom, or until someone luckily wins, in which case all players cheer for them happily, knowing that the game is over. This game is a good gift for fishermen. If you dislike that fisherman, and you think they'll like really boring, dull, overlong, horrible games. Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's being too mean, but really... Really, this there's nothing really to recommend this at all. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. I would buy this maybe, maybe, for a fisherman friend as a gag gift. Look, I got your sturgeon, the greatest game ever. Except it's not, but it's about fish, so you might like it. I applaud the idea of fishing, the idea of eating other people's fish is interesting. If there's very interactiveness in the game, but blah, 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 blah. Alright. I don't have much else to say except don't get this game. It's just not worth it. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.